Right, just going to head off down into Shotton briefly. At the Summerfield site at the moment. Have the cenotaph just across the way here. Got the bridge over Wepper Brook. And the cenotaph. And if it wasn't for those boys, we wouldn't have any of this. The world would be a very different place. It'd be a bit noisy here. Even though it's dark, it's not that late. It's around about five o'clock. I don't even think it's five, it's about half four, I think. Um, so there'll still be a fair bit of traffic and footfall. I don't know if you can see the brook down there. This little camera has got a reasonably good lens, so surprisingly, it does show up a lot of things that I thought it wouldn't have any chance of doing. This is Brook Road and down there is Hendy's the pub I was talking about on the other video. If you head on down there, you get to uh, the Castle Inn, also known as Hendy's. This used to be the bank, Lloyd's Bank. But it's been, uh, I think it was Cyril Jones, solicitors. I don't know if it is anymore. Uh, well, yeah, it looks like it is. I haven't seen the place open for a long time. Not quite sure what's going on, but this is shopping. <laughs> Here's the old, uh, what do you call it, job centre. I don't recall this being anything else, you know. Possibly it has been something since, but I don't recall it ever being anything else. It was a job centre and then shut. Walk one buffet, that's a bit the dust too now. I think it was the Imperial Palace, was it, for a while? And when, oh, in the 80s, was it the Golden Key? It was something along those lines. You had the likes of Janet's across the road. These, these were some of the last houses to have walls. Um, sort of the early 90s, late 80s, all the walls started to go. But these were some of the last ones in shot them to really have brick walls outside. Prices, the butchers. That's still going. For a while that was the Net Cafe, remember them? It's the Ocialis's now, funeral directors. I don't know if that's an extra to Ocialis's a bit further up or if he's downgraded to a little bit building now maybe. I'm not quite sure. I think there was a milk bar here years ago. Now I don't know if it was in 
this building or if it was that one I think it was more likely this one well before my time I was a 70s baby and that place was open in the 50s and 60s I think Royal Pizza now one of these places was Wap and Go was it? I think you have butlers as well, that's gone. I think there is a butlers in Queen's Ferry still, I think. BM Express used to be Woolworths. You can still tell sort of that it was Woolworths by the tiles. It's got those old traditional Woolies tiles. And the bingo wall still going. Well, the building's still there, definitely. I think it's still going. This is B&M Express now. The old Tesco's is Iceland. After catch up to Anne Marie, she's ploughing on ahead. I think it's because it's fairly cold and she's not enjoying the weather. You're a bit cold. <laughs> The old man web office and the old clock. Ten to three forever. The old thrifty shopper's shop, remember thrifties? The lads are still open, I think he wanted a bigger shop for his cards. So thrifties has moved just down the road there to shot and bargains. And everyone knows Alf Jones is. The only thing with Alf is every time I walk past there, it's always shut. Because we're always down here dead late, like today. A couple lot of uh, kebabies popped up in recent years. I'm just going to swap hands because my fingers have gone numb on this one. Istanbul restaurant. Oh, that's actually a cafe, that one. The Cluid obviously closed at the moment due to the COVID-19 coronavirus pandemic. To be honest, quite a lot of the uh, shops are closed at the moment due to coronavirus. I'm not sure if this will come out any better on this camera. It may do, but it's a little bit dark, that's the only problem. Well, like I say, I think the lens goes down to... It's something like f1.8 
or f2.3 I can't ever remember but it's it's quite low anyway so it does that quite a lot of lighting because it opens quite wide the cafe on the end there do you remember that The door had opened and all the smoke had come wafting out. Clearing the place, ready for it to fill back up again. Say so is the bakers still here, Nat West still here. We're lucky really because quite a lot of the banks locally have shut down. There's a few towns now have got none I think. You know the likes of Hollywell and Buckley and that I think they've been devastated. Heck of a lot of footfall still in um, Deeside though. You know, you still get quite a lot of people popping in and out of town. Boots the chemist. What's that you? Bethany Books. At the moment, the central shut because of the coronavirus pandemic. Everywhere's closed, isn't it? So, the lights are on, but no one's home. Even the taxi office has given up. I think no one wants to go to Chester, do they? Colin Becks, no longer Colin Becks now. Still there, but it's not Colin Becks anymore. The old toilets, they've got these anti-graffiti things on the walls now because people just used to graffiti them mercilessly. And these are a bit easier to wipe clean. Station Cafe across the road there. They actually fully deliver breakfasts by a just eat. I've never heard of it, but but you can get a brekkie delivered. Jim Shop Bar as well, it's been there a number of years now. Used to be Wing Wah. But, uh, it does a good dinner, does Jim. Across the road there you used to have your Gemini blinds. There was the butchers as well there when I was a kid. And this place here we used to be Dr. Gavin's surgery. My old doctor. He retired, I think Dr. McCandless took over and he got um, infamously struck off. I'm not quite sure what the reasoning was behind it, but Claremont Villas, 1886 is where they were based. I have to say, Dr. McCandless was my doctor and he was, he was fine. And uh, Dr. Gavin was simply wonderful, smashing old chap. He must have been practicing for so many years because he was my nan's doctor previously. One thing that I will show you in a sec is the little wood nut because it's gone.
I think that was FJ Wall Sweet Shop on the corner there. But the um, headmasters has gone to Keith. But in that gap there, as most of you will remember, was the uh, little wood nut. It was there for years. I think it might have been in hairdressers for a while, and uh, that's gone. Last six months or so, and Mike's taxis across the way there's up for sale. The fishing shop and shot and cycles are still going though, they've been there a good while. Shot and cycles, oh, early 90s, perhaps, late 80s maybe. Pharmacy here, there've been a variety of things. I think it was a joke shop for a long time. And the joke shop was also across the way there for a while. Deeside Medical Centre, that was uh, Dr. Liam Gavin. He's retired in recent years. I think Dr. Daz has very recently retired as well in about the last 12 months, so he's gone as well. I'm not even sure who the doctors are there any longer. Again, I was with those guys for a little while when I was a kid, I think after McCandless had gone or around about that period but then I moved down to the uh, far end of Konoski so I ended up in the key surgery now Jim Supper Bar Hamburg's favourite place Shotton Station and the, the bridge that gets smacked about once a week. weird it's usually tons of tables strewn about the place here it's unusual to see them not here but here we have the central it's a weather soon free house apparently now I can't remember when it was built 19 oh I can't see that 1901 uh, possibly 1913 a little bit too dark for me to see. I think it's about 1913, it's a bit round about then. We have a clock here, it's five to five. I think that that's correct because the shops are still open, boots are still open etc. It's only a few shops permitted to open at the moment due to um, coronavirus. Alexandra Street. Eighteen ninety seven to nineteen ninety seven centenary celebration for the Rivertown Church. I don't know when they put this front end on, but I think it was quite a number of years ago. The old front end, front edge you can see there with this fancy new front piece put on. TLM computers. Shot 
shot on kebabby. Town and country. I always stop off to have a quick nose at the houses. Let's have a look. Uh, there's one from Sestrian Street there, 145k. D, D Road Bungalow for 125. 125 for a bungalow? Why? I don't understand. Why is it so cheap? And rent, you're looking at 600 quid. Ah, that's the old church. 600 quid a month for an apartment in the old church. Is it me or a house price is falling? 108 grand for a terrace, that seems cheaper than I'd expect. King Edward Street. And McLewitt. So unusual seeing these places shut. It's like Sunday in the 1970s. Deside Insurance, they were in a big office further down the road, but they seem to have come back to this one, perhaps saving on rent or something. Save as chemist and bargain booze. When I was a kid this was a school. I'm sure a lot of you remember the school along the front here. That's well gone now. Hi, the Istanbul restaurant's a reasonably new one on me. Looks very pleasant. I'm sure once Covid's over it'd be nice to pop in for a burger or something. Whatever they sell. Awful lot of kebab places now though. Alf Jones's. We've got Salisbury Street here. Nip down Salisbury Street because the uh, the old police station's down here. The only thing is, can you see it? I don't know, maybe. Worth a go. Uh, Amory was just saying then, whispering to me, there was a co-op in here as well. I think it was before our time though. Yeah, 60s, 70s, something like that. Maybe some of you will remember the co-op. Police station bit I did know about, and that's just coming up now. There we are. Could do with a little blue light outside, couldn't it? <laughs> there is a sign up the top, but I can't really read it. A little bit too dark, I think. I 
think it says 1901. I think that's what it says. But yeah, this is the old police station. There we go. Right, I'll pause this for a sec. Okay, back on to Solitary Street. You got um, Bargain Booze. Again, and Alf Jones is again. The Alhambra used to be here on the main road. It's a large theatre. The performers used to come. I think they used to have quite a few famous names in the 1920s and 30s, you know. And then it had a theatre, um, it had a cinema added or possibly close the theatre part and not become just a, it's just a cinema. And it shut in the 60s, I think. I'm quite surprised, really, that cinema around here took such a dive because it was very, very popular for a great number of years. You know, you'd be looking at... Probably about a hundred years if it was still going. Possibly longer, you know. I'm not quite sure when it was built, but... It'd certainly be old. And cinema is so popular now, you know, even during Covid. People are lamenting that they can't go to um, the cinema. I don't think you'll be able to see on there, but if you look on the old clock, it's shut. It's got on it key clocks. So I wonder if that chap who's recently took his sign down on the key hill, I wonder if he had a hand in that then. It wouldn't surprise me. He worked on a Vienna clock for my mum that was misbehaving and he did it did it very nicely. Was it a Vienna or was it a black slate? Oh do you know what? I think it was a Vienna. My memory's not what it once was, but I think it was a Vienna that he that he had a look at. I think she got her black slate clock in decent order. Ryland Street a lot of apartments built at the bottom now but they've been there for a good 30 odd years I think if not longer they've been there a good while the old car shop it's a beauty place now try and get a uh, Mikey. That's an old car, isn't it? You don't see a Cavalier like that anymore. B Reg 84. Anyway, I digress. Essence Beauty by Joanna. Strands Hair and Beauty, Nails for You. So there's a lot of beauty type places along this row here. They must be struggling at the moment with Covid. Yeah, butlers across the way. Like I say, I think. I think there's still a butler's in Queen's Ferry. Is there a butler's in Queen's Ferry still, though? I, th I think that there is. One of these was Wagamama. It might be that beauty box. I'm not sure. All that Royal Pizza, I'm not quite sure. I didn't go there very much, so... It's one of those two. And there you've got a better view of the old... Uh, well, I think it. I think it was there that they had the milk bar. It was Ethel Austin's for about a million years, but that was Barclays Bank, Thai Massage and Spa, Tattoo Studio, 2004. That was established, apparently. So at the moment, you've got the Weight Loss and Wellness Clinic. In the middle, up the stairs, you've got Cobra Life and a tanning place in there. Next door is uh, the butchers and then what used to be Mr. Bevan's Q. 
Turkey carpets. Ocialysis. Place I'd like to avoid for a while. A few unfortunates been in there recently. Bridge Street. There is still a, um, a little garage here fixing up cars. I don't know if they do MOTs, but just there. And then you've got the bridge at the end that heads off over to the river bank. I'd advise caution though because heading down there, especially when it's dark, it's uh, a very favourite haunt of the unsavouries these days. So do be careful. I'm not quite sure what deciding insurance is now. It just seems to be loads of old office rubbish for sale. Yeah, I don't... I don't really know office furniture and computers. It's a load of old Dells or whatever. I'm sure some of this stuff will be handy for someone who just wants a word processor or whatever. Watches and silverware and one of those old colour gas fires used to click on the top. An accordion. Needs a bit of work but I'm sure you could get it nice. I have chucked some of these monitors away recently and I don't know what that is over there is it an old bar or something £150 I'm not sure looks nice church. Amory said she thinks it's from a church I'll tell you what it is great look at this this looks like it's just got off the Titanic the Oxford Sink. Fair dues. Can we chuck out our bathroom cabinet and have that, love? And this bit's got a load of toys. Look, they've got the Gruffalo there for two quid. They've got two of them, so if you're fast, you might get one. Hulk mask for three quid. Uh, I think that's a heater, is it? Or a big fan. 40 quid. Air conditioning unit, 40 quid, fair dues, that'll be handy in the summer. Space heaters, these things are. 40 quid though, for a big heater like that, it's not bad, is it? Do alright for your garage or whatever. I'm sure there's something for everyone in there. Again, you got Lloyd's Bank. Might just get a bit of a better view from this side of the road, maybe. A bit up close before. Wap One Buffet. I'm sad that place is closed. They were very jolly in there, but they did nice food. I'm not sure what that place was. That hasn't always been the big estate agency, I know that. was before then. There was a chippy here. Ooh, was it the tattoo studio? I don't... Was it this one or the tattoo studio? I can't remember. But the fella in there was Greek and his name was Andrew. That was probably mm -hmm. early 90s. Tell you what though, if you stand there for too long you'll get flipping wasted very strong smell of something dubious <laughs> there we have the back end here's Wepper Brook can't see it though it's pitch black I can't even see it with my eyes it's down there somewhere There's loads of rats on that riverbank. 
I've seen them, so <laughs> I'm not going to go delving. We're heading into Pomaski now. You can tell the difference because if you look on the buildings across the way there, see they've got Christmas trees. Yep. Well, if you look in Konovsky, they've got these, I think they're stars and fireworks or something, I'm not quite sure, and bells and what have you, hanging, hanging up from the top of the lamps. I think people were whinging that loads of people lived in Konovsky and they only ever put the uh, lights up in uh, Shorten. Better view of the cenotaph. God rest them. So yeah, I don't know what's going on with uh, the old Summerfield site. There were rumours it was a Mr. Bevan's. Um, rumours it was going to be something like an Aldi or a Lidl or something. But there's thousands of them already locally, so I don't know. It's just been shut for years and years and years. I think the council owned the car park and they charge people to park in there and I think that's unpopular with people, prospective buyers because they want people to park free or perhaps they want to charge people to park there I have no idea but uh, I know there's some kind of hoo-ha over the, um, the parking situation there still must be fairly early because Motor World's still open across the way there Going past Cross Solicitors now. It's been here for a number of years now, Cross. Now I remember Mr. Cross in the 1980s, so he must be getting on there. You know, he wasn't particularly old, he was probably in his 30s or maybe 40s in the 80s, but the 80s is a long time ago. What did I do to him? Must be getting close to retiring. Cross back over. Jump back in the jalopy. Keep my fingers crossed it starts. <laughs> Didn't want him earlier. There we go. A little bit of a wonder. Hopefully it's come out okay and I haven't been zoomed in like I was up with one. Dozy devil. Um, hopefully it's of some interest. I'll get all this lot uploaded and uh, plonk it on YouTube. The only problem is once it goes on YouTube, it takes ages to process. So um, it's likely going to take quite some time. It'll go up and it'll be low quality for a number of days and then eventually it'll start to look okay and then eventually it should get to 4k there we have it a little bit of a wander around shot and if you leave it about a week after I've uploaded it it'll probably be in 4k so it'll look quite nice and signing off now is that on winds or air winds you have to leave some comments radio bye bye for now